Hey, how is it going? Chris here from 99scloud.com and in this video I will be showing you how to install the Python programming language through Anaconda on macOS. Welcome to this tutorial in which we will install Python through a tool called Anaconda on macOS. If you use Windows, check the links below this video or feel free to subscribe so you'll get notified as soon as the tutorial for Windows becomes available. So what is Anaconda and why should we consider using it? Well, Anaconda is a Python distribution platform with over 25 million users worldwide. So it's a tool to install Python. It comes with its own package management system with over 7,500 packages. And it includes a lot of tools such as uh, code editors and more. Anaconda also makes it easy to set up and maintain virtual environments with different versions of Python, and it can be used to build, distribute, and manage your software. As Python has a large community of data scientists, you can find a lot of scientific libraries, including an extensive set of machine learning tools. Anaconda is free for individual users, and it's, in my opinion, the simplest way to install Python on your system, as it does all the heavy lifting, such as setting the environment variables and access rights for you. There are also Windows and Linux versions available, which will behave pretty much the same way. And because of that, it's a good tool to use if you want to follow along these tutorials, but have another operating system. Okay, so that should have given you a good overview of what Anaconda is. So let's get started with the installation. You can either click on the link below this video or find the website through Google. Once on the page, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page until you find the section with links to the different installers. We will be using the macOS 64-bit graphical installer. So click on that link and download should start. Once the download is complete, you can execute the installer through the browser or you can locate the installer package in your downloads folder and double click it. You might get the message that tells you that you started an installer. Click on the allow button if you see this. As soon as you see the installer, you can click on the continue button. You will then be presented with some important information that in short tells you what the installer will do as the installer will set some environment variables and modify some passes on your system. So make sure you read that so that you know what actually happens on your system. It will also show you a list of Python libraries which will be installed so that you have them available right out of the box. So once you've read through that, click on the continue button. Next comes the license agreement, so you can read through it and click on the continue button and agree to the license. Once done, we can choose the install location. I'd recommend installing it for yourself, which will install the software into your home folder. Then you can click the install button to start the installation. Even though it might say the install time takes less than a minute, it can take quite a while to do the installation. So make sure you remain patient. I'll skip ahead here. So feel free to pause the video until your installation has completed. So once the installation is complete, you can choose the installer and move it to the trash. You can now open the finder and take a peek into your home folder. You will see that the folder called OPT has been created 
and Anaconda was actually installed into this folder. If you don't see your home folder in the Finder window, you can add it under the Preferences, but it's not really required that you do that, as there should be a link to the Anaconda Navigator if you go into your Applications folder. You can now double-click the Anaconda Navigator to open it. Once open, you will see several tools for coding and data visualization. You can see a tool called Spider, which is a code editor. But there is also another nice tool called Jupyter Notebook, which is a really neat tool if you want to code and directly access the variables or view the output line by line. So let's take a look at the Jupyter Notebook and launch it. I usually put all my code into a folder called development in my home directory. So let's create such a folder now. The folder will be added with a default name, so we will have to rename it. Now that the folder is created, we can create the Python file in it and check if we can run some code. Let's define a variable and see if we can print the contents just to make sure that it works. You can then click on the Run button to run the code, and as expected, you should see Hello World is printed to your output, and that means you have created your first piece of code. Now let's also have a short look at the terminal. You can find the terminal in your Applications folder under the Utilities folder. Once the terminal is open, type bash. And if you now run Python minus minus version, you should see that you are now running Python 3.8 or whatever the latest stable Python version is. And if you look at the .bash profile file in your home directory, we will see that Anaconda has added code for initializing the environment. Okay, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you have now a fully working version of Python installed on macOS. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video.